Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Emily, the home bookkeeper, and on this channel, I help business owners and fellow freelance bookkeepers navigate the ever-changing QuickBooks Online, while also sharing insightful videos on all things business ownership and finance. As always, this is a sample company provided by QuickBooks for educational purposes only. Today's video is part of a complete QuickBooks overview series. I will be showing you step-by-step -step everything you need to know to operate QuickBooks like a champ. So let's get started. Now let's go over how to customize your forms to make your company stand out with professional branding. To create a new invoice template, Click on the gear icon in the upper right-hand corner of your QuickBooks online screen and select Account and Settings. Next, choose Sales in the left menu bar. Then click the green Customize the Look and Feel button on the Customize section. QuickBooks Online will take you to the Custom Form Styles screen, where you can see the list of all of the invoice templates that you have created or will create. If this is a new company, the only form style available is the default template named Standard. If you want to make only a slight adjustment, you can edit the default template by clicking Edit on the far right side of your screen. If you wish to create a new template, hover over the new style menu on the upper right hand side of the custom form styles window and select invoice from the drop down. After clicking invoice, QuickBooks will take you to the invoice customization form, which consists of three tabs. The design tab, where you customize the overall design of your invoice template, the content tab, where you can edit the content in your invoice, including your business name, contact details, and addresses, as well as add custom fields if necessary, and emails. This lets you edit the content of your invoice email, including a personalized message to your customer. From the design tab, you can edit the name of your new invoice template and customize its overall aesthetic design. There are five areas to customize. After you click on dive in with a template or change up the template, you can choose from six options. Click on each to see a preview. Then select the one you think best suits your business image. Click the green done button to apply a template to your invoice. If it's your first time adding a logo, click on add your unique logo and select the green plus sign under add a logo. If you have already added a logo, the description of the button changes to Make Logo Edits. QuickBooks provides a window to browse your computer and select the image of your logo. After selecting the image file, click Save to show a thumbnail of your new logo. Once your logo is uploaded, QuickBooks will automatically place it in the top right corner of your template. However, you can change the placement by selecting the buttons under placement. Also, you can adjust the size of your logo, small, medium, or large. You can play around with the options until you settle on how to display your logo. If you decide you don't want the logo in your invoice, click on hide logo. Click on splash on some color or try other colors to select the color of your template. You can choose from 18 colors. Click on Get Choosy with your font or select a different font if you've clicked there before to view a selection of four fonts in three sizes. The next two tabs in the invoice customization screen are the content and emails. To customize the content, click on the pencil icon on the grayed area in the content screen and, and edit the important details, such as business name, phone number, and email address.
From the Emails tab, you can control how you want your invoice to appear in your email. You'll find settings to personalize your standard and reminder emails, including adding specific greetings, etc. You can also add a personalized message to your customer if you desire. Now that you know how to craft a custom template, you can produce custom templates for estimates and sales receipts. The steps are identical to the process we just used to create a customized invoice. From the custom form style screen, click new style, then select either estimate or sales receipt. You have the same design options for estimates and sales receipts as invoices. I suggest that you make the custom format similar to your invoices, but different enough that it's easy to tell each of the forms apart to avoid confusion. It's important that customers don't mistake invoices for estimates. QuickBooks Online stands out with its professional looking invoices, estimates, and sales receipts. However, the default forms aren't very impressive. So I highly recommend customizing your invoices, receipts, and estimates to enhance your brand and improve business communications. You can build brand awareness and enhance brand recognition with a well-designed logo on a unique invoice. Additionally, customizing your sales forms can help you increase sales in different ways. For example, Customizing the design of your invoice makes it look more professional and attractive, which may encourage your customers to pay faster and consider doing more transactions with you in the future. For more business resources, my online self-paced home bookkeeper masterclass, business supplies, gadgets, must-haves, and more, make sure to check out edjconsultinggroup.com backslash resources, linked below in the description. And of course, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on those bell notifications so you'll never miss an upload. If you have any video or tutorial requests, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And for even more behind the scenes content of Life as a Home Bookkeeper, feel free to follow me on Instagram at Emma Dawn and connect with me on LinkedIn. If you need more assistance, private QuickBooks Online coaching, or bookkeeping and payroll management, feel free to email or visit edjconsultinggroup.com. My firm is fully inclusive and ready to help you along wherever you may be in your entrepreneurship or personal wealth building journey.